What's up, Dark Horses, and welcome to another Dark Horse workout of the week. In today's workout, we are going to be getting powerful 10 strokes at a time in 10 minutes. We're calling it the 10 and 10. If this is your first time here, welcome to Dark Horse Rowing, where you are the hero of your own story, and we are the guide that helps you get to where you want to go. With that being said, let's get into what today's workout is going to be. Now, this is all about comboing with the, the recent video that we did talking about how to improve power or force on your machine. This is going to be a practical application of that. How do you actually get stronger on the machine? How do you deliver more power? Well, in a pretty simple way, and they're called power 10 strokes. So the way that this workout is going to work is it's going to be 10 minutes. That's it, just 10 minutes. The intensity on these power 10s is going to be high. The rest of the time, it's going to be very easy and mild. So what I would like in today's workout is that you're going to set your damper at a 10. Yet again, the theme of today's workout, the 10 in 10 using a 10. So damper is going to be high. Now, why? It's not because we always say use a 10. It's because for today's purposes, I want you to have a lot of resistance on the machine to feel how you are engaging with your push of the machine. This is not where I want you for the majority of workouts, but for the purposes of this one, yes, I want damper up at a 10. So damper is gonna be at a 10. We will row for 10 minutes continuous. Every minute, you are going to take 10 hard strokes, meaning 10 hard pushes, and they're going to be as hard as you can push and we're gonna use a stroke rate of 18 as we do that. So every time we start a minute, stroke rate 18, 10 hard strokes, and then we will rest the remainder of the minute. Because it's going to be an assigned stroke rate, you just follow me. So when we hit the minute, I'll tell you to go, you follow my stroke rate. Your only goal is to push as much into each stroke as you can, trying to get the most juice out of the squeeze. That's the goal today. So the 10 in 10, using a 10, at a stroke rate 18. And that's about the foundation that we need to lay. Again, the objective is, with this much resistance, you're going to feel how to brace and how to hang off of the handle. Do not be bending the elbow today, be hanging from the arms, using the legs to push the machine away from you. That's the name of the game. That's how you develop that force. Also with that higher damper setting, you're gonna notice that it's a real heavy coming out of the gates. So that catch position is gonna feel real heavy and slow through the drive. That's why we don't always use a 10, but for today's purposes, reinforcing good force application to the machine, a 10 is what we call for. That's what the, uh, the doctor prescribed today. Now, with that being said, let's go through our normal house cleaning notes. Number one, have any water nearby. If you would like it, have it sitting next to you. In the off time, you're welcome to grab a sip of water. Number two, you can have music if you like. I don't necessarily advocate that because I'm gonna be talking to you through the next 10 minutes, so Hang out with me for 10 minutes. That's it, you can not listen to music for that. Uh, otherwise, you're welcome to tune into our Spotify playlist, which we often link to in the description below. Other than that, warm up ahead of time. So if you wanna follow the previous warm up videos that we've done before, go do that. Otherwise, do your own warm up, come ready to roll. And finally, have multiple monitors. One, to watch this video, and two, perhaps have your phone mounted to your monitor, tracking your data with something like Erg Data or a Sensei so that you can be delivering information directly to the logbook after your workout is over. With that being said, let's get into today's workout. To set your monitor for this workout, very simple. From the main menu on a Concept2, you're going to go to Select Workout, New Workout. Oh, let me back up. I'm gonna do this for the visually impaired. <laughs> Last time uh, I said hearing impaired, that is not correct. So for the visually impaired, the way that we're gonna do this is you will start with select workout, which is the B button, so you'll hit B. Then new workout, which is the D button. Then single time, which is B. You're gonna see 30 minutes flashing on the screen. We need to change that to 10. Therefore, you will hit the C button three times. That's the minus button, one. Two, I'm sorry, just two times, not three. That puts 10 minutes on your screen. And then just so that you can have good tracking, let's hit that right arrow, which is the A button. One, two, three, four, five, six times. That's going to change our split length. You'll see the two should be flashing now. We're gonna hit the minus button once, that's the C button. And that gives us one minute split length. That means that when we're done, what this is measuring is every minute of work, which is what we're doing, 10, min 10 strokes every minute. Sound good? 
All right, now once you're ready, you're gonna hit the check mark, that is the E button. So you'll hit the check mark and that will program your monitor to be ready to go. All right, I'm all strapped in. You should be warmed up and strapped in too. 10 minutes should be on your screen. We're gonna start. First stroke is gonna be hard and we're gonna hit those 10 strokes at an 18 with as much force as you can muster. Again, at the top of every minute, we will start another power 10. The rest of the time, we'll be resting. Cool? Grab your handles, sit ready at the catch. This is gonna be heavy, folks. In three, two, one, go. There we go, now nice and easy cruising for the rest of the minute. Take it light and easy here. So that took right at about 30 seconds, which means it's gonna be 10 rounds of 30 on, 30 off. Going in five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, on at an 18. We go. That's two down. Just interesting to note, listen to your flywheel and how quickly it's slowing down with this heavy drag factor now. Your heart rate's probably jacking up pretty quick here. Getting ready to go again. And three, two, one, let's hit it. How are you feeling right now? I'm noticing my rib cage is getting worked, having to stabilize, keeping my arms long. Take note of what your body's feeling. Learn how to deliver that power going in five, three, two, one, first stroke. getting tiring. This is good learning though. That trunk and midline should be getting tired. Stabilizing. Make sure you keep those arms long. Hang off of the handles if you're water skiing. I've never been but I hear it's very similar. Going in three, two, one on this one.
Halfway. I could use some water right now. That's for sure. Take it nice and easy in these rest periods. Appreciate it. Getting ready to go again. Five, three, two, one. Turning it on, here we go. First stroke. This one-on-one -on -one off, or one-to-one -one ratio, gets tiring quick. Getting ready to go. Three, two, on this one. That's one. Three left, I think. I believe that's seven down. Just a meter check. I'm at uh, 1630. What about you? Going in five, three, two, one. On this one. Two left. That's 1850 meters for me. Check where you at. But it's not about stacking up with me. It's just about making notes. Going in five, three, two, one. On this one. Last minute coming up here. I'm getting some cotton mouth. Some serious. Probably shouldn't have had that pizza right before this. Five, three, two, one. On this one. Last stroke here. Boom. And 
paddle out. I'm gonna take it through the finish with you on this one. And then we'll debrief. Three, two, one, time. Now, you are welcome to replay that multiple times for multiple rounds. That's 10 minutes. An excellent workout would be three rounds of that with perhaps a five minute rest in between. So depending on how you feel, continue to use that if you would like. Otherwise, what you should have learned from this and your takeaway should be that you are learning to brace, learning to hang, and learning to apply force through the foot stretchers because of that brace and that hang. This is your transmission. If this isn't locked in, if you aren't learning to hang off of your lats, these guys right here, then you are all sorts of broken in that elbow or that shoulder, and this is gonna eat up your power that should be coming from your legs transferring up to the handle. Instead, this is just gonna be an exit point. And it's gonna feel like you just can't apply force to the machine. So you have to trust that hanging when you drive, ah, that that elbow is strong, that this locked out joint can support a lot of load. But if you wanna pull, this becomes very weak because the musculature cannot support that much force production. Imagine if I told you to hold something overhead would you do it like this, or would you extend your elbows? If I told you to hold a handstand against a wall, you'd lock out your elbows. If I told you to push a car that was in neutral, you'd lock out your elbows, or you'd just press your body against it. But your body is the same thing, right? You wouldn't do it with your arms half cocked. So that's your takeaway, that's your lesson. Thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed this, and you feel like you're on a journey, you've got something to prove, you've got somewhere you wanna be, and you wanna be that hero of your own story, and you're happy with us being the guy that's helping to bring you along the way and the rest of the Dark Horse community supporting you in your efforts, then you are a Dark Horse. If that's you, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you get alerted whenever we come out with a new video and you continue to be a part of this community to stay supported and to stay on your journey. And with that, I say it and I mean it every time. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Please go spread the love. Take it out there. Take my love I'm giving to you and give it to others. We need more of it out there. So with that, thank you guys and we will see you on the other side. Hey guys, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want more, we've partnered with our friends at Ascense to guide, monitor, and correct you through your workouts while I am personally coaching you through your training plan. Now this is unlike anything you have ever experienced before. If that sounds interesting to you and you wanna check it out, click below to start your Dark Horse journey.